when the bongo comes in, you want to make sure that you can still hear him. And so you have to make sure that you balance. And you might need to bring the volume down just a little bit because sometimes when you're playing at a forte dynamic, it's being covered up. So we want to make sure that we can hear and that the audience can hear both players because he can only get so loud with his hands and you got sticks. So it's really kind of an unfair advantage, right? So we want to make sure we can hear him. And then the other thing, the dynamics were great, by the way. Wow. Yeah, for sixth graders especially. I mean, like, if I was just sitting here listening and I didn't know, you know, I, I was very impressed. I would say you played with a lot of maturity, and I would think you were at least in the eighth grade, at least, when playing with that much dynamic contrast. It's very good. Um, anytime that you have a rest, you want to... You want to mute that drum so yeah, that you yeah. don't get, yeah. And you want to do it really carefully so that you don't create any extra sound with your hand. But all you got to do is put your fingers on it and stop the vibrations and the sound will stop. Okay? But those are just little nitpicky things because I think it was really good.